Hello everybody, it's Prometo CX, and today is another day of Final Fantasy IV The After Years, um, which is basically me just complaining about the game the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, usually I do these streams from bed, which I am doing it from bed in my weird leg uh, reha rehabilitation machine, but Poe did not go to work today, instead she uh, stayed I home. Brought, I brought my work home. Yeah, she brought her work home. She's been helping me with my Legends of Localization, um, my Legends of Localization stuff. Um, she's taking a bunch of pictures for the upcoming Zelda book that I'm working on, and you can see her set up there. That's in our house. Yep. You can see we got our equipment, our <laughs> weight equipment there, yeah. and all that stuff. I'm really impressed by those light umbrella things, whatever those are called. Umbrella lights. Umbrella lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she's she's home. So um, she might not be around the whole time because she she might she she might still have some work to do. I but, do have work to do. I'm, um, I'm gonna pop in and out. Okay. Um, so if you guys don't already know, like. I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy IV. I'm a huge fan. I don't think I can stress that enough. So crazy that uh, I've written pages and pages, like hundreds of pages. Of, yeah, probably not not in the thousands yet. That compares all the different versions of Final Fantasy IV. Um, and like, since I have a translation background, I go and I explain like the translation choices, translation differences, translation mistakes, things I think could have been better. Like here's Spoonie Bard. People, everybody likes Spoonie Bard. So there you go. I explain all the Spoonie Bard stuff and even like all all the different uh, forms it takes and all the different localizations. <laughs> like it even made it into Final Fantasy X and Tactics and Dissidia and Phoenix Wright <laughs> and Disgaea stuff. So yeah, this is so definitely check out Legends of Localization Com if you haven't already. Okay. So what's my favorite version of Final Fantasy IV? Oh man, that's a really tough question from. Uh, heart catcher here. Let's see. I'd have to say, well, I guess I like the Super Famicom version. I don't, I, <laughs> that's that's the easy one. That's the easy answer. Translation-wise, they all have their like pros and cons. I don't think there's one that really stands out, but I guess the DS version is the best one. But the con is that it's like so it's like such a different game than the original game, and the, and the tone gets very flowery as I call it, with it's all like. Um, mythical the thesaurus talk. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to talk about it. One of these days I, I will actually play Final Fantasy IV itself. I was thinking even that I could um, try to play a whole bunch of them all at the same time and have a whole bunch on the screen at once. Or maybe I'll do some of my stream magic. and um, Control like, all of them at once, maybe? Yeah, but maybe I'll do my stream magic and like as I play through one version it'll show the text from all the versions at once. Oh. So you can compare them maybe. Yeah. So right now I'm playing Final Fantasy IV The After Years as part of my re rehabilitation program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as doctor prescribed. Alright. So let's get started. Alright, I'm getting back to work. Okay, you're going back? Yep. Alright, so you're going to pop in and out? Yeah. Okay. Taking photos. You can also do um, random messages on the stream if you'd like. Ooh. So you might do some random messages, kind of like... I'm going to be in the other room doing random messages. Kind of like this. Hopefully it won't scare me. <laughs> also, like I mentioned, that um, so am I really louder than the music? Okay, I'll turn myself down. The problem is that um, my capture card has been messing up with the with OBS, and it's been like making the music not work at all. Okay, so here we go. Controller on. Oh, thank you, Poe. Poe has given me water, the, the water of life. All right, let's begin. We're, we're uh, six. Oh wait, okay. Wait, that's dumb. It doesn't tell me my length of time. So thirties is um is not old. I agree. I thought I would feel old in my thirties, but I kind of just joke about it. But as I get on in my thirties, my body starts to be like, "Hey, you can't do that anymore." Oh no, Poe is giving secret messages. <laughs> All right. Suppose so in the other room doing Legends of Localization work while I am here just playing games. Alright. Let's make sure everything is going good on the stream. Okay, we're doing good. Let's begin. Alright, so I forget what, what we're doing. Oh, we're just going through here now. We have to go because Evil Kane went to the castle yet again. Alright. So. Oh man, I forgot. I keep forgetting that the encounter rate is really crazy. 
So tell me if the audio could be better. Like, the audio mix in the actual game itself is real bad. Like, the town music is nice and nice and good volume. Then suddenly you got this really loud battle music. You got these different volumes. I've been trying to deal with it in the stream. Everybody in your 30s, I give you 30 tomato points. Are you 30? Oh, okay, I forget how old we are. I talked about that on stream the other day, Poe. Okay. Monster in a box. When I get a mansion, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have lots of boxes full of monsters. Uh-oh, is this guy going to be hard? <laughs> yeah, so this was originally a mobile phone game, and I really would really like to play it. But getting like those old mobile phones in, from Japan is hard. Much less streaming them. I don't know how I would do that. I have to learn in, uh, electrical engineering. Hey everybody, let's start with dying. Let's start by dying. I assume I'm supposed to run away. Yes! I died. Alright. Let me do this, because this is... Weird. Got some crashy stuff happening in here. Hmm. So, for some reason, like, some stuff on the stream has just crashed, so I'm not sure why. Let me see. Oh, I see why. Oh, man. Okay. Alright. Let me try to fix this some more. There we go. Alright, so some of my stream magic has been crashing. Alright, so let's begin. Let's not fight that guy. Uh, but I want to fight that guy. I need to be more careful with my attacks. I need to do some bans. So the android port was just as lazy? That's too bad. Oh my god, I'm already dying. Cross slash go! So heart catcher, you really like the sprite artwork on PSP? I really, really can't stand it. It's really gets me the wrong way. Like most of the, uh, from this era on is of Square Games, I really can't stand the artwork. Like I think I even read somewhere that um, a lot of the artwork for these games was done by um, people being trained to do art, so they're not actually good at art yet. I forget where I read that. Actually, what did I just get? Ice Brand? Let's do Ice Brand. Let's see if this stuff works. Aw, oh, man. Alright, so... Stuff's breaking on the stream. I don't know what's up with today. It must be... Uh, must be Twitch. Okay. So we got Flame Sword. Let's give him... Oh, he has a Flame Sword, too. I just bought Flame Swords. Oh, gosh. Alright, so... Since things are acting up, we might not have credits today, everybody. Okay, let me put this over here. Alright, there we go, that's better. We're doing some, uh... Some blazing with the toads, blaze toads. That's just ripe for jokes there. <laughs> Alright, so we got, um, we're not going to do very good here. Alright, so I guess some, today's going to be a creditless day, I guess. Oh man, so I was doing all sorts of, um, I do all sorts of tests before my setup, before I stream. I usually do, like, it even takes up to an hour sometimes. So I spend a lot of time doing some setup, but now it's just starting to act up. So I'm not sure what's up. Okay. Let's see. I'll do some... Oh good, he can still do magic like that. Oops. Is there... Did I miss anything else down here? I don't think I did.
Alright. So here I'm trying to debug my stuff as I play, and that's no that's no fun. Okay. So I remember there's some money here. Did they refill it with some money? So even though I got a uh, stronger equipment, things are still hurting me pretty good. Hello Rainbow Man 95. Yeah, I keep talking about uh, RPG Maker stuff. I don't know what it is. Okay. Zeus's Wrath. Flame Mail. I get the feeling these might be bad to put on. He needs it more than anybody. Alright, there we go. So Poe is actually in the other room. Hey Poe? Oh well, I guess you can't hear me. I'm gonna tell her to not do the thing. Yeah, so this does look like it's RPG Maker 2, but it doesn't strike me as much as much as the PSP version. All right, need to do some healing. Oh, I was gonna do jump, but then I forgot. We don't really have that yet, because <laughs> the the secret has not been revealed. So didn't RPG Maker get a release on PlayStation? I think it got released on all sorts of things. Alright, so let's do this and we'll get... Save our potions. What's more important in this game, items or MP? Oh, the secret. Flagator! Okay, I see what's happening. Something on Twitch's end is messing up. There's some kind of um, some kind of, some kind of issues with Twitch. So hopefully, like Twitch will be okay. Hi, potion. All right. So I think there's still some more I can go. They don't. Uh, they don't make it as obvious in the after years. It looks like. Okay, so right now items are more important. <laughs> what is that monster, everybody? It's Flamehound! We gotta do a Final Fantasy IV rap. Does Final Fantasy IV rap exist in any, any form? There we go. We need a gold bez Flamehound! Oh, that was a waste. Alright, so the credits and stuff are going to be a little off today. What's going to happen is I'm going to keep trying it um, every so often to hook back into Twitch's API. But Twitch's API is acting up. Oh no, there's my Hall of Art. There's, that was the uh, three-headed hot dog from Costume Quest 2. We liked it so much that um, we went and got a hot dog costume and Poe played the rest of the game in the hot dog costume. If you guys missed that, it's on, it's on YouTube. I think even the, the developers really enjoyed it. In fact, I saw that, um, what's his head? Uh, Tim of Legend still follows us. Which is pretty amazing. Like, he follows, like, seven, seven people, and six of them are his co-workers. <laughs> so, Alkspread, how's your uh, office chair construction going? Okay. Actually, I just noticed that... Uh, let's see, is this... Is this working? Oh yeah, it's working. So, happy Friday to everybody. Actually, I'm, I'm unlike most people. Fridays are like really tough days for me, so I kind of don't look forward to them. I'm kind of reverse Garfield, I guess. Tent and some wine. Yeah, we're gonna party tonight. Okay, so Alexbert's office chair, I'm sorry. Your, if you can complete your chair, I will give you 50 tomato points. Yeah, so I keep talking about how I would like to make some kind of my own sequel, like my own sequel hack or a fan game or something. 
I really think that a fan could do better than this stuff. And I feel like a grumbly old man, but... It happens to everybody, I think. Oh, that's right, doesn't this chest move out of the way at some point? Phoenix down. Yes, preemptive. Baka's wine. Wow, I never thought of that, Andrew Ray. That's a good one. So how does the, um, the game, the battle music, compare to my voice? Can you hear me okay? Because that first day was really rough, and everybody seemed okay with it, but I listened to it, and I was like, whoa, that's bad. Oh yeah, that Mystic Quest remaster? Is that, was, so is that a legitimate, legitimate, um, scam? That's a weird phrase to say. But it turned out, like, people were saying it was actually a scam or something. But you could actually get the game, and, I, and the guy was insistent that he had the license from uh, Square Enix of Europe. I see sunlight! We aren't do this yet, watch yourself. Right! So apparently the people who made this game, or at least the writer of this game, was one of the original writers of Final Fantasy IV. But I, I, you're probably right, like a bunch of the other people involved, maybe like consultants and artists and stuff, they're probably just fans. So they're like, okay, just do whatever you want, writer. Kind of reminds me of George Lucas, and he was like, when he did the prequels. Okay. Will you continue this act of kindness and hand over the fire crystal? Ugh. I'm going to kill Cassell. Have you seen him yet? Not yet, that's why I'm here. This this writing is really hurting my brain. I could write this. This actually reminds me of like the level of writing in a lot of anime these days. Because you know, I, I translate that on a daily basis. This is sort of the st yeah, this is sort of the stuff I write on a daily, I translate on a daily basis. It's, it's kind of like, um, not you don't even have to think about it, it's kind of just silly. Silly and cookie cutter. Yeah, so Andrew Ray hopes Mother 4 doesn't turn out like this. Yeah, I have my worries about Mother 4 too, like, writing, the writing, like, what little writing I've seen is a little, is a little trying too hard sometimes, but, um, I think in the most recent trailer I was a little more impressed, so. I have, I have some hope for it. The graphics and everything else, and the music, and the presentation look really good for Mother 4, though. The fan, fan made Mother 4. Right, time for a tent. And we're gonna have some wine. Alright, so let me try this again. 